Welcome to the Gaming Pulpit. This is your host JD, and today we're going to be talking about some more Death Stranding. Um, some new little tidbits of information has come out um, since the TGS, and just the videos that has come out. Some people were able to translate the Japanese and things like that, um, and was able to find out some more morsels of information. But there's a lot of different things, especially the video that's actually playing in the background that they haven't actually talked about. But I wanted to actually touch base on my other video, which I think people didn't really get to the ending of. So I just basically say it now. Um, as I said before, there are still some people that are still clueless as to what the fuck is Death Stranding. And what it is, is an adventure game. It's an adventure game and people are going to relegate it by saying that it's a walking simulator. And it, it is. It really is. Um, and that's not to dig at the game. I mean, you're walking. And you manage your walking on top of it. So it definitely is a walking simulator. That's what the game is. Um, and that's not a problem. Because they're going to take the walking and push it to the levels of like Gran Turismo of walking, I guess. There's a lot of things that you will be able to do and it will impact you. You know, um, and it will make the adventure a lot more eventful, a lot more impactful. Um, you know, think about it like this. If you decide to climb a mountain and you have to manage your balance, you have to manage your weight, you have to manage your bodily fluids, you have to manage drinking, uh, you know, water and fluids and stuff like that so you won't tire out, you have to rest, you know, and all of that stuff. And you finally get to the top of the mountain, you earned that. You totally earned that. Like, you got your shit rocked by the environment, and you earned it. You know, you avoided all the BTs. You avoided, you know, um, you know, you avoided the, the, um, the, the mules and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you earned it. You fucking earned it. And it's going to make you appreciate the travel. You know what I mean? And, I, and, and it, it'll make you appreciate the travel. Uh, moving on to the next subject of the morsels of information that we has have figured out is that one thing I didn't know is that when you are engaged in battle, when you're swinging back and forth, you can choose which limb to use. So people were saying that the um, the battle system or the fighting engine or whatever the case is, it looked clum clumsy and things like that. I mean, there's a lot of things that they were not taking into account. Um, when they looked at it and they, you know, in their defense, they didn't see the prompts and stuff like that. But when you are fighting, apparently when they showed this game in action, you are choosing what to do. You are choosing to swing that left hook and with the right hook or the right hand, you are actually swinging your suitcase or whatever fucking luggage you're carrying around with you and shit like that. And that's going to add a whole new dimension and dynamic to the game. You know, another thing is, too, um, they have this map, which has complete elevation stats. So, the elevation stats are actually tied to, or it's tied to you and your walking. As you know that your boots will deteriorate, as you know, you can have to balance yourself and stuff like that. You have to do all of these things. So, yes, that is going to play, like, a huge, huge part. And when you go into the map menu, you have to plot out a path to take. Now, you know that there's elevation within that path. You just don't know how, how complex it is. So when you are looking at the map, which I think this is like one of the first games to do that. But when you're looking at the map, you're really going to be like, I don't want to go into this particular area. Because if you look at some of the videos, you'll see that he'll do the, this maneuver on certain types of terrain and also when you use the glasses it actually spreads out some sort of dot matrix system which will tell you how tough it is to traverse you know i mean it just seems like like i said it I mean like everyone said it was a walking simulator but they're going to take walking and put it in the realms of like gran turismo because we all know when you are playing a racing game i mean when you look at somebody play Gran Turismo or Forza, you don't know. You're just looking at it like, this shit looks boring. But when you play the game itself, it's a totally different feeling. You know what I mean? You feel those divots and you feel the speed and you got the 
uh, Slipstream. You got all this other shit that's going on. So you're definitely going to feel it. Um, so that goes to the, the actual, you know, safe house. With all the menu management that you're going to be doing, you're going to need a rest. And yes, they made like the menu system, or not the menu system, the safe house kind of like chill. Yeah, they made it chill. Of course they did. It's going to be stressful doing all that, that inventory management, that stat management. That's going to be really, really, really stressful. And you're going to need somewhere to kind of like chill, relax, and be silly. What's the problem with that? People were saying that it was pretentious going on to our last subject here um which is you know it's pretty crazy but there were actual people that were up in arms with you know the main character you know sam i'm about to call him sam Reedus, but sam um when you zoom in you get like certain stats and stuff like that and you kind of make him interact they call this like a tamagotchi simulator or you know electronic pet simulator or whatever the case is and whatever you know what i mean this is going to be like a fun little place to take your mind off of the difficult environments and shit that you actually have to do so yes that's what's going to happen that's what's going to happen i don't like but i feel like the social justice warriors are going to really go crazy on this game i feel like they're going to like totally like rip this game apart because apparently if you look at his junk he'll get up and punch the fucking screen and i feel like people are going to be like oh, oh my gosh he doesn't like he's not pro gay He's not pro-gay. Like, he punched the screen because he's homophobic. I swear to you, I bet you a whole bunch of money people are going to come at this game because the pers the char main character has a personality. And this is funny. But <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think about all of this stuff that I've been saying, especially the social justice warrior shit. But you know this game is going to get attacked. It's a different game, and people want it to conform to certain things. You know what it is. But that'll be all from me, and peace out.